Eva comes across the voices of tenacious Finnish women, which she found while researching the past and Finnish history. Let's imagine the history of Finnish women, which is full of strong and brave women who have fought their way through the mazes of history and gender roles, even though men have tried to keep them in their tiny boxes. While researching the history of Finnish women in more detail, she finds herself in a unique position which has been created by the continuity of her grandmothers. In the beginning, of course, there was a Finnish woman who listened to the heroic stories of her great warriors and thought, damn, I want to be a part of this action too. But unfortunately, the time was not yet ripe for belligerent women, so they had to smile at the men and keep the home nest warm and the men's egos big. The pursuit of equality and sometimes a little funny twists. But wait a minute, did you hear that? It was a voice that came a hundred years ago when Finnish women voted for the first time in 1906. But don't worry, it was just the self-esteem of Finnish men. The First World War hit and Finnish women showed courage and tenacity when they had to take care of the home and family while their husbands were at the front. Wasn't this just a normal everyday life for them? But now it got attention. In 1917, Finland declared its independence. Women also wanted to decide and their voices were heard. But as we know, political games were still a men's playground and women had to fight to have their voices heard in decision-making. Women took matters into their own hands and founded their own organizations, such as Marta, where they learned skills that were more than just backing breed and sewing clothes. They were ready to conquer the world or at least make their voices heard. Then came the time when women started to take their own place in society. They fought for the right to vote and eventually got involved in decision making. But isn't it said that women are better listeners? Well, at least men noticed that when women started speaking louder and more clearly. Then the 1960s and 70s arrived and Finnish women took over the world. They marched into the workforce and said, hey, we too want to do more than just make coffee and change diapers. Of course, the men were a little nervous about this change. They were afraid that women could be as good or even better than them, but hey, women weren't just interested in dethroning a man, they just wanted equality. How selfish. And then came the time when Finnish women rose to the top of politics. They sat by the ministerial portfolios and looked down at the men who were trying their best to keep up. And you know what? The women proved to be pretty darn good at it. They didn't need men to support them. They were their own independent, capable and ready for power. Finally, here we are in today's Finland, where Finnish women have risen to heights and broken glass ceilings so many times that it is becoming expensive to fix them. They've proven that gender doesn't matter when it comes to talent and that women can be anything they want to be, whether it's an astronaut, a president, or even a superhero. And best of all, they did it all with a smile on their face and a pink worker's humor.